Welcome to another developer update. I'm Jeff from the Overwatch team. We've taken you to a lot of places in Overwatch. We've taken you to King's Row and Ilios and Hollywood. But today we're taking you someplace very exciting into the very confusing mind of Jeff from the Overwatch team. <laughs> So let's start with the things that I think matter the most to you guys. First off, I have a big surprise for all of you. I don't know if anybody saw it coming or was expecting this, but I'm finally able to talk to you guys about a brand new hero just on the scene. So as you know, Orisa is an evolution of the OR-15 units, which lost horrifically against Doomfist in a battle that took place in the Nimbani airport. Well, our new hero is one of the old OR-15 units named Old R-15. Um, and he's got a lot of amazing abilities, such as fail miserably, laying in pieces, and give up hope. So you have a lot of fun playing around with that. Now, beyond that, we were reading a lot of feedback from Salty Roadhog players. I know a lot of you are really upset, um, and you might think we hit him a little bit too hard, but enough is enough. No more Mr. Nice Jeff. The days of getting kooky crazy one shot kills as Roadhog are over. And of course, we as the development team are going to be watching. So if for whatever magical reason you are able to do something useful as Roadhog, we're going to fix it right away. Um, <laughs> the truth is, every time I have to sit here and do one of these developer updates, I die inside. So now everyone can sort of experience my pain by playing Roadhog and dying over and over. Uh, so make sure to log in and, and check it out. Um, we've heard a lot of talk about wanting improvements to the loot box experience. We heard you loud and clear that you guys want less duplicate items, but we realized that you would need an infinite amount of content to have no duplicates. So that's why in an upcoming patch, we will be adding an infinite amount of God Zarya skins for you guys to enjoy. You know, you never have to see that humiliating duplicate item ever again. Um, we think the change should be very drastic and significant and feel fantastic. One, one last point I wanted to make. We know that there are concerns about how we deal with trolls in competitive play. Um, we know that they cause a lot of disruption and harassment. Um, and we found there was a lot of frustrating moments and you end up getting so angry that you wish your entire team would instantly implode. So what we're going to do is drastically change how we punish um, all of those subhumans who think it's cool to troll during ranked games. What we're going to do is go out and capture those people and force them to test my new Doomfist cosplay, which basically involves me punching them in the face while screaming. <laughs> and Bonnie belongs to me for about 20 hours a day. So we hope that will strongly encourage players to be nice to each other. So um, sort of out of time right now, but as always, we look forward to what you guys have to say about Overwatch because we feel like we're making this game with you guys, even though we ignore pretty much all of your <laughs> feedback. So thanks for everything, and uh, we look forward to our next chance to catch up together. Oh, uh, Dino Flask is so good at editing that, man. Wow. That was great. Is that it? He usually puts stuff at the end. Hello, you get nothing. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it, bud. Man, that's a good laugh right there. Good chuckle. <clears throat> Dude, that his editing style is so funny. Gosh, that's a gem right there. Wow. That was a good one. Uh, Trilos, thank you for the new sub, man. I appreciate it, bro. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it, homie. Chad, have you guys heard of 